Hey y'all, this your girl coming at you with another video. Let's see if I can get y'all a quick message this morning. Holy Spirit, please protect my energy. Please allow me to be the channel. It is my people need to know on today. Okay. First card out, we have the Knight of Grains here. Jacob works for Laban. It says, so Jacob served seven years to get Rachel, but they seem like only a few days to him because his love because of his love for her. Genesis 29, 20. All right. So somebody could be putting that work, okay, for a particular person. All right. I'm getting like, <laughs> for some of you all, you're not giving something to somebody so easy. You're making them work for it. But for others of you that's not dealing with anybody, I feel like uh, you're working very hard on something. You've been working on something for some time. And maybe it just don't seem like you uh, invested that many years or that much time into a particular thing because you feel like whatever it is that you're working towards is worth it. So I'm definitely seeing hard work. What else? All right. Oh. All right. We got the eight of feathers here with Jonah trapped inside the fish. All right. This is equivalent to the eight of swords, by the way. And it says, he said, in my distress, I called to the Lord and he answered me. From deep in the realm of the dead, I called for help and you listened to my cry. Jonah 2-2. All right. So I'm also picking up like somebody's been putting a lot of work uh, into something, but it's like some sort of stress, mental stress that comes with whatever this is. Okay. Mm. And then we got David and Goliath here with the seven of candles, which is equivalent to the seven of ones. Yeah, so somebody's fighting something, okay? Somebody could be um, going through something mentally, like I said, okay? Yeah, bottom of the deck, the seven of cups here, okay? The temptation of Christ. All this I give you, he said, if you shall bow down and worship me, Matthew 4, 9. So I'm already getting, you know, <laughs> and I'm going to pull from another tarot deck, but y'all already know I love this deck. So pretty much we have the Knight of Pentacles here, the Eight of Swords, and the Seven of Wands with the Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck, right? So put in hard work but also feeling stressed out about something because it's like there is some sort of battle here that's going on. I feel like this is like concerning that energy I told you all I was picking up on the other day with the seven of cups at the bottom of the deck. That's like confusion, that's illusions and things of that nature. So it's like for some of you all, something here could be coming off like it's too good to be true or should I trust it? You know, but I'm, I'm very much getting like you should trust something but there's something that not that's not wanting you to trust whatever this is, okay? It's like God saying, why are you stressing out? Why are you worried about something? Just give it to me and watch everything fall into place. Yeah, because right behind that, I got the page of candles here with Miriam, um, praise, um, Miriam's praise for God here, right? So in this particular card right here, it's saying, like the Lord is saying, all you got to do is worship me. You can have all of this, right? And so it's like somebody saying, okay, let me go ahead and give God praise, right? But there's also somebody being tested here, all right, with the two of feathers, which is equivalent to the two of swords here. This is like Abraham being tested to sacrifice his own son, just to test his faith when it comes to God, right? And because his faith was so strong, God blessed him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because right behind that, I got um, three of candles, the call of Abram, right? So it's like when the Lord tests you and you pass the test and he see that he can trust you with something, then you got a particular calling that you're going to be going after, 
right? So I'm getting something about like your work is not being done in vain, all right? But the enemy may want you to feel that way. That's what I'm getting here. So let's see. Let me pull from a normal tarot deck. Holy Spirit, what else you got? Nine of Pentacles here, okay? For whatever reason, this morning I'm smelling heavy bleach, okay? I don't know if somebody's like bleaching the walls or something like that, but it's so strong. I smell it so strong this morning. Okay, some of you all, you may need to use bleach to get rid of a certain type of energy. Nine of Pentacles, judgment at the bottom of the deck. So something is definitely um, to be gained here. I feel like that's why you're putting in the work here. All right, what else? that's what the nine of pentacles is about by the way yeah we got the page of pentacles here you focusing on whatever this is and i feel like it's going to bring you some sort of gain or abundance yeah four of pentacles at the bottom of the deck like i said the enemy is not wanting you to have something okay or there are some certain people around you that's not wanting you to have something but it's saying stay focused yeah we got the ten of cups here all right complete wish fulfillment happiness okay the ten of cups can also be like um ancestors okay we got the two of cups here i'm seeing some sort of spiritual partnership with the ten of cups two of cups here all right but i'm also seeing like for some of you all something here is surrounding home family love all right with the two of cups at the bottom of the decks you may be thinking about starting a family with somebody here yeah we got the six of pentacles six of swords here then we got the five of swords right behind that so i feel like you want to have equal give and take you want to um be generous with a certain type of energy with a person you want to move forward but there's some sort of strife or something that comes behind it and i feel like it's because um somebody else's feelings or something like that could get hurt while you doing what's best for you or while somebody else is doing what's best for them or something like that all right yeah we got the hermit here okay the hermit with the eight of swords so somebody may be choosing a be single or not deal with somebody and that could be where this mental conflict is coming from it's like i invested all this time and energy into you and for you to not want what it is that i've already put so much time and energy to it's like pissing me off or something like that like that's what i'm getting for somebody yeah we got the eight of wands eight of, i mean nine of swords you see what i'm saying so something happened real quick that i feel like left somebody in the head stressed out can't sleep or something like that we got the two of swords here with the knight of swords and the ten of swords here so i feel like something is definitely coming to an end all right yeah ten of swords the tower i cannot make this up and then we got the king of wands leo every sag masculine energy emperor's right behind that okay so something about a mother a baby mother or something like that and then we got the two of cups once again all right somebody could be trying to work it out with their baby mama or some shit like that just to take it how it resonates Holy Spirit, what else? Yeah, we got amusement park here. It says thrilling rise, carnival fun, festival atmosphere. Okay, so yeah, somebody could be having a time of their life here. We got bathroom here. It says uh, pristine cleanliness, water, and re uh, renewal here. Okay, I see a lot of white. I told you I smell heavy bleach here. So like I said, huh, somebody could be cleaning their bathroom or something like that. Then we got rendezvous point. Okay. And it says, um, meeting place, destiny unfolds, convergence. Yeah, so somebody's destiny could be unfolding or somebody is like now figuring out where they want to be and what they don't want to be because we got cemetery here. All right, it says uh, resting place, memorial stones, okay? Like I said, something about ancestors here. All right, this is the time... This is the season where a lot of people be, you know, going to cemeteries. You know, it's Halloween time. 
um, Day of the Dead, you know, so forth and so on. I'm getting a lot of dead energy here, okay? And then at the bottom of the deck, we got Temple. Mm, speaking about you having to make a decision. Spiritual practices, meditation and reflection, spiritual guidance. Like I said, <laughs> some of you all, it's like Jesus is saying, look, I'm the way, I'm the truth. I can give you all of this if you just follow me. And I feel like some of you all will be making that decision here. All right. Yeah. And then we got street right behind that urban landscape, pedestrian traffic, sidewalks and crosswalks. I feel like some somebody's going to be crossing over to something. OK, hopefully this is not death. Because I do have living room, comfortable space, family gathering. This could be somebody about the. Oh, Lord. And then we got crossroads. Right behind that after we seen street, okay? So, I feel like somebody could be playing at the crossroads. Um, if that's not the case, somebody could be about to transition over, all right, to the other side. Um, where they're going to be getting back with their relatives that has already transitioned over. Like, that's what I'm getting for somebody here. So, y'all take these messages how they resonate, all right? Um, I'm going to leave it there. Got to work now, and until next time, bye.